Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a fun and exciting learning with Grade 5 Math. I am Teacher Anne, your math teacher for today. So grab your module, pen, and notebook, and let us begin our journey in the math world. For today's lesson, we will visualize and describe solid figures. Make models of different solid figures, cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using plane figures. Now let us move to this problem. One morning, Joanna decided to clean her brother's room for a weekly general cleaning. She found under his brother's bed the toys he was looking for the past week. She found a ball, Rubik's Cube, drum, Lego brick, traffic cone, and a paperweight. Now, is it important for us to clean our room? Why? That's right! Cleaning our room will also remove the dust and germs that might get us sick. It will also keep our room tidy and organized. These are some of the objects that Juan found under his brother's bed the Rubik's Cube, and Paperweight. Are these objects the same as polygons? No! These objects have three dimensions which are the height, the width, and the length. Now what do we call these objects? These objects are called solid figures. They are also called space figures or 3D shapes. Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. A three-dimensional object has length, width, and height. Moreover, they may have faces, edges, and vertices. Let us move to the different parts of a solid figure. These are called faces. Faces are flat surface of a solid figure. How about the edge? An edge is formed when two faces meet. An edge is a straight line segment. Vertex is a point where edges meet. This point is a vertex. What do we call this part? Correct! This is called the face. How about this one? Brilliant! This is called the edge. And this one? Exactly! This is called the vertex. Now let's move to this figure. What do we call this figure? This is called rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a solid figure that has six sides called faces that are rectangles. These can be thought of as any fancy name for something that has the shape of a cardboard box. A rectangular prism show up all around us. It has 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Some examples may include a book, a piece of furniture, or a donation box. Let's move to this figure. This is a cube. Cubes are just a special case of rectangular prisms. Cubes are solid figures that have six faces that are all squares of the same size. Since a square is a rectangle, 
a cube has six faces that are all rectangles, so a cube is a rectangular prism. Example of a cube is this letter wooden block and a gift. A cube has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Moving on, this figure is called cone. Cone is a solid figure that has a circular face on one end called the base, and the point at the other end where the sides meet is called the vertex. I'm pretty sure we all have enjoyed an ice cream cone at one point in our lives. The cone that you put the ice cream in is an example of a cone. And what a delicious example! Some other examples could include a party hat or a tent. It also has two faces, one edge, and one vertex. Can you name other objects that are cones? Marvelous! Those are examples of a cone. I know you are familiar with this object. Can you name this object? Perfect! This is a pyramid. Pyramid is a solid figure that has polygon as its base on one end and a triangular faces all meeting at a single point on the other end called the vertex. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. Many of us have heard the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Some other examples of pyramids in the world around us are rooftops, certain buildings, and figurines. Can you guess what figure is this? This is a sphere. Sphere is a solid figure that is round and has the shape of a ball. For example, a basketball is a sphere. Another example of a sphere is the earth we are standing on. When we look at the globe, we see that the earth is three-dimensional and has the shape of a ball. Therefore, the earth is a sphere. It has one face, zero edge, and zero vertex. Can you name objects that are sphere? Fantastic! Those are examples of sphere. Can you guess the name of this figure? This is called a cylinder. Cylinder is a solid figure that has two circular bases and one curved side. Remember when I explained what a cone is? Well, a cylinder is similar to a cone, except that rather than only one circular base and a point on the other end, there are circular bases on both ends connected by the curved sides. Some examples of a cylinder is this can. Cylinder has two faces, zero edge, and zero vertex. Solid figures are either polyhedron and non-polyhedron. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure whose surfaces are polygons. A polyhedron may be a prism or a pyramid. A prism is a polyhedron with exactly two faces that are congruent and parallel. These faces are called bases. Other faces are called lateral faces. Some examples of prisms are triangular prism, rectangular prism, and octagonal prism. A pyramid is a polyhedron in which one face, also called the base, 
can be any polygon. The other faces, also called lateral faces or triangular sides, are triangles that meet a common vertex. If the base is a square, we call it square pyramid. If the base is triangle, we call it triangular pyramid. These are examples of non-polyhedron. We have cylinder, sphere, and a cone. Let's have this activity. Tell whether the following are polyhedron or not polyhedron. Let's have this figure. This is a polyhedron. Next one. This object is not polyhedron. Not polyhedron. Next one. This object is polyhedron. And lastly, this object is not polyhedron. Did you take note of the different solid figures? Let's name them one by one. We have Cube Rectangular Prism Square Pyramid Cone Sphere Triangular Prism Triangular Pyramid And lastly, Cylinder These are called Solid Figures Can you give examples of real objects in your home that are solid figures? Perfect! Those are examples of solid figures that can be found in your home. Let's try this activity. Give the mathematical name for the given figures. What is the name of this figure? Very good. This is a square pyramid. How about this one? Correct. This is a cylinder. Next. Right. This is a cube. How about this one? Exactly. This is a cone. Next one. Correct. This is a triangular prism. How about this one? Right! Rectangular prism. And lastly, this is a correct. This is a sphere. It has been a great journey learning with you. Again, this is Teacher Anne, your math teacher. See you again next time.